Hey everyone, Ferris Technology here. What I have here is the OtterBox Commuter Series for the iPhone 4S. I'm just going to do a little bit of an unboxing and I'm going to give you a demonstration on how these cases work. So um, I have a black one here and I have a green one with gray. Um, I'm going to open up the green one with gray because the black is pretty standard and uh, just so you guys can see the color difference. Both cases are identical though um, as far as physical. Um, so I'll try this one on my phone and I'll show you how it works. So we'll just open this up here. So we've got, uh, take this apart first. So this looks like a screen protector with the white cloth. That's it, screen protector with the white cloth and the instructions. Pretty standard stuff from Otterbox. Put that aside. And so what it is, we have a two piece case right here. So we've got uh, this like a rubber material. Um, the material seems a little bit uh, better quality than the previous generation Otterbox material. This one's not as flimsy as the previous uh, Otterbox um, cases for the commuter series. Um, so uh, all you do is just slip my iPhone 4S inside here. Just like that. So there we go. Make sure it's nice and snug on there. And then we slip the top in first. Then you want to kind of push the sides down a bit. And then you just push it down from the bottom and pull out the little charger port piece just to get it straight and in there. And you can play around with it just to make sure that it's nice and snug and everything aligns. Um, but there you have it, so um, case fits fairly well, better than the previous OtterBox. I wasn't a big fan of the iPhone 4 OtterBox, it just didn't seem like the sides fit properly. But uh, the iPhone 4S one, with a different type of rubber material, it does seem like it fits a lot better. Um, so on the back you can see that there's a little bit bigger of a camera lens um, area, so your um, flash is not affected um, when you have a case on there. And we've got the exposed um, iPhone logo, the Apple logo there. And uh, for the bottom, we've got the uh, little cover for the ports and uh, the microphones and all that's there. Um, on the top, we've got the exposed um, noise cancellation piece there. This opens up and that exposes the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the top, um, we've got full access to the lock button. Um, it's a little bit tough to press, but it's not too bad. Um, it's kind of just a little bit of getting used to. I'm sure that will loosen up a little bit there. Um, on the side, full access to your uh, switch right there to silence your phone, um, as well as we've got the uh, buttons for your volume control. So um, I'll just go around just another front to back here just so you guys can get another idea of what it looks like. Side, top there, and then the back. And like I said, this is the green and gray color. They do come in a number of other different colors. Um, I do have the other black one here, as I showed you before, which is identical to this case. It's just a black color. So there you have it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this case. Um, I'm going to try it out for a couple of days on my phone. And uh, that's about it. Um, give me your guys' feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, just so you know, I do have now a fully dedicated Apple channel, which will have all my Apple videos, including this one on there. Um, it's uh, youtube.com slash various apple so go check it out and subscribe to that channel as well as this one if you haven't already thanks a lot guys i'll see you later